Hello, good afternoon, and welcome. We find ourselves at this beautiful location, nestled here on the slopes of Grizzly Peak, where we happily witness a unique moment in the lives of Spencer and Malia. Today, we join their lives in the union of marriage, Spencer and Malia, who are so wonderfully suited for each other, and show us a love that is pure and kind. They are the promise of possibility and the expectation of joyful surprise. We are here to witness, honor, and celebrate their love for each other. Although we're both unhealthily obsessed with our family, unlike me, my sister wasn't obsessed with the idea of settling down. In fact, I'd come to think that she would just stay the cool aunt who comes to visit and wears cooler clothes and better makeup and lives a more glamorous life. But then there was Spencer. <laughs> Right away, I started hearing from some of Malia's friends that this guy was perfect for her, that this was the guy for her. I sat there thinking, sure. But then my get dad got really sick and Spencer stepped into our family. At a time when most men would have ran in the other direction, Spencer really held us together. He took care of my dad and he really took care of our whole family. He quickly became my dad's right hand man. My dad more often than not demanding Spencer to sit by him or talk to him instead of me or my sister. <laughs> anyway, the bottom line is I've never seen my sister so happy. It's true that when you marry someone, you marry their family as well, and I'm forever thankful that we get to have him in ours. And I remember when I first met Spence, thinking, man, this kid's got a lot of energy. And I still think to this day, man, this kid's got a lot of energy. But over these last 20 years, I realized that that energy that Spencer has is his greatest gift. No matter where he is, what he's doing, uh, he makes a good situation better. And when I first met Malia, I saw that, that energy and that light that Spencer brings to all of us, she brings to him. Oh. oh my gosh. Look at you. I want to cry. You look so cute. I look cute. Oh my goodness. What do you think of the bag? That's lower than we talked about. Oh my gosh. You're beautiful. To Spencer and Malia's family and friends, you watched them grow up, you went to school with them, or you worked with them, you have shared life with them. You were the ones that have supported them in sad times and shared joy with them in happy moments. It is only fitting that you are here today to share this once in a lifetime moment. Spencer, throughout my whole life, I've always been good at taking care of myself. As a girl, I've never dreamed of my wedding day or the person I would marry, probably because I knew if I didn't meet him, I could still take care of myself. When I met you, I realized that even though I could, I didn't want to do it all on my own anymore. As I got to know you better throughout our relationship, your kindness and your love for your family won me over, but it was your patience, selflessness, and loyalty that made me fall deeply in love with you. Our relationship was challenged right from the start, and you supported me through one of the hardest times of my life. The harder things got, the more you lifted me up and, and you treated me and cared for my family as if they were your own. God placed you in my life when he did because it was no longer time for me to do things on my own. You were the missing puzzle piece that filled my life with joy again. Every day you remind me to live in the moment, to laugh until my stomach hurts, and to be myself. You are smart, kind, wise beyond your years, and the most loving person I've ever met. I stand by you today choosing you as the one I spend the rest of my life with. Malia, you are the love of my life and I'm so excited to start our lives and begin this never-ending journey with you. From the moment I met you, I knew that you were someone special. Family is the most important thing in both of our lives. I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with someone else's family. I feel like I belong and I hope you feel the same. I love you, Malia. I love you for loving me and loving my family. I love your twacy hair in the morning <laughs> and the way you challenge me every day for good. I love how driven you are and the way you treat others. I love the thought of us be being together and starting a family. 
You are my everything and we have already been through so much together. As your husband, I promise to trust and value your opinions and stand by your actions. I vow to take care of you in sickness and in health. I vow to encourage and inspire you to grow, asking that you be no other than yourself. I promise you my unconditional love from this day forward, loving what I know of you and trusting what I do not yet know. This commitment is made in love, kept in faith, and made new in our lives. I truly envy Spencer because he has always known exactly what he wants with no question and there was never a single question in his mind that Malia was not the one from day one. Spencer, I want to say thank you for being there for Malia and the Schumann family through a hard time. You came at just the right time. Um, and I know you're going to take care of Malia the way that Bill want, would have wanted her taken care of. Spencer and Malia, you have now committed yourselves to one another by the pledge of your marriage vows and the exchange of wedding rings. Your life is now one, and by the power vested in me 48 years ago by the Universal Life Church and the state of Oregon, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Spencer, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I am pleased to present to you the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Spencer Tejedas.